Honeywell's Primus Epic Avionics system uses modular computer circuit cards that host various functions from flight management to the enhanced ground proximity warning system. These cards, commonly known as MAU modules, can be easily damaged by improper handling. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to safely handle an MAU module, including protection from damage due to electrostatic discharge, receiving an inspection, safe transportation to and from the aircraft, and removal and installation of MAU modules. Refer to the Aircraft Maintenance Manual for specific details of module removal and replacement. From the very beginning of the manufacturing process, Honeywell takes every precaution to protect new modules from electrostatic discharge damage. Our employees are required to wear properly grounded ESD wrist straps and follow strict ESD preventative measures when handling, packaging, and shipping the delicate components. MAU modules are carefully packed inside an ESD safe bag and placed in a specially constructed multi-use shipping container that can be used to return the faulty module to Honeywell. You must wear an ESD wrist strap that is properly grounded before touching an MAU module. Fasten the strap to your wrist snugly enough to keep the conductive surface in contact with your skin. An improperly worn ESD strap may not prevent ESD damage. Never wear it inside out or over your clothing. And don't just hold it in your hand. It doesn't work that way. ESD wrist straps should be tested periodically to ensure that they function correctly. At Honeywell, wrist straps are tested daily. The ESD bag envelops the module to protect it from electrostatic discharge. Simply placing the module on top of the bag doesn't give any protection at all, and the bag does not protect it from other physical damage. You should always transport the module to and from the aircraft in an ESD safe tote or an appropriate shipping container to provide additional protection. Do not stack cards on top of one another, even if they are in ESD bags. Each card should have its own ESD bag and shipping container. When an MAU replacement module arrives, receiving personnel may need to inspect the content of the shipping container to verify the part number. It is imperative that a properly grounded ESD wrist strap be worn if the module will be removed from the ESD bag or touched during the inspection. Any surface that the module will touch while it is being inspected should also be properly grounded. Once the inspection is complete, the module should remain stored in its shipping container until ready to be installed. Before beginning, turn the aircraft power off to prevent damage to the equipment. Put an ESD strap on your wrist and make sure it is seated snugly against your skin. Plug the wrist strap into the ESD ground jack on the MAU chassis. You are now grounded and ready to continue without danger of ESD damage to the MAU card. Locate the module to be removed. Refer to the MAU slot numbering on the top edge of the MAU chassis, or the part number or slot number on the back shell. The key parts of the back shell and cabinet are the captive jack screw, the back shell hook, the rhino horn, the back shell keying, and the MAU cam bar. The exact location and orientation of the MAU cabinet varies with the type of aircraft. Some installations have the wire harness routed from the top and some from the bottom. In either case, the removal process is the same. Loosen the captive jack screw on the back shell and then remove the back shell from the module. Be careful not to overstress the cabling. 
Unlock the back shell from the cam bar and then carefully place it away from the module. Make a note of the direction of the orientation arrow on the front plate of the module. The replacement module must be oriented in the same manner. You can verify the orientation in the aircraft maintenance manual. Detach the module from the MAU chassis by loosening the top and bottom captive jack screws on the front plate. Carefully alternate loosening the top and bottom jack screws equally until the module disengages from the MAU chassis. Then, gently pull the module straight out of the MAU slot. Hold the module only by the jack screws or faceplate. Even though you are wearing an ESD wrist strap, avoid touching the electronic components on the module or connector. Don't let the module come into contact with any other piece of equipment or wiring. Immediately place the module into the ESD safe bag, close it fully, and place the bag in the ESD safe tote. Don't put the module on the cabinet, the floor, a chair, or any other surface until you have secured it in the ESD safe bag. And don't put anything else in the ESD bag. Keep the paperwork on the outside. Return the failed module in the Honeywell shipping container and include the completed failure report. Use the return address label that was included with the spare module and ship it to Honeywell for repair. Transport the module to the aircraft in an ESD safe tote or appropriate shipping container to protect it from physical damage. Keep the MAU card in its ESD safe bag until you are ready to install it. Ensure that the aircraft power is off. Put an ESD wrist strap on your wrist. Make sure it is seated snugly against your skin and then plug the wrist strap into the ESD ground jack on the MAU chassis. Identify the correct slot for the module. Refer to the slot numbers on the MAU chassis. Inspect the slot to ensure that it is clear and free of foreign objects. You may have to move the back shell out of the way to make workroom for installing the module. Be careful not to stress the wiring. Remove the module from the ESD bag. Hold the module only by the jack screws or faceplate. Even though you are wearing an ESD wrist strap, do not touch the electronic components or connector on the module. Look at the arrow on the front of the module. Make sure it points in the same direction as the arrow from the removed module. Align the top and bottom card edge guides into the MAU slot. Use the visual guide on the bottom surface of the MAU chassis. Carefully slide the module into the MAU cabinet. Do not force it. If the module pinning does not engage with the MAU chassis, remove the module and make sure it's oriented correctly and properly aligned with the card edge guides. Reinspect for foreign objects. Once the module is seated, Use a torque wrench to tighten the top and bottom captive jack screws on the module front plate. The jack screws draw the module into the cabinet. Alternate tightening the top and bottom jack screws so that the MAU slides in evenly and the front plate engages the MAU chassis. Refer to the aircraft maintenance manual for torque values. Now install the back shell onto the module. Verify that the key on the back shell matches the key on the module. Align the back shell hook with the notch on the MAU chassis cam bar. Engage the back shell hook to the cam bar. Use the curved rhino horn as a guide and carefully rotate the top of the back shell onto the MAU chassis. Do not force the two together. If the back shell engagement is difficult, remove it and verify that it is correctly seated in the cam bar. Also, reinspect the module keying. It must correspond to the back shell keying. Secure the back shell to the module by tightening the captive screw at the top or bottom of the back shell. 
Refer to the Aircraft Maintenance Manual for the torque value.